Right then, hello and welcome back to V-Rally 2. Last time we completed the Expert Arcade mode, now we're going to be heading on to the V-Rally Trophy. Uh, now, at the end of the last episode, I did put out a little vote on what car we'll be using. We're going to be using the bonus cars from here on out. Um, there was only a choice of three, though. The Ford Escort V-Rally, the Peugeot 205, and the Fiat 131 at Barth, as you can see on the screen. Um, now, we had five votes. Two were tied. Uh, so, the Peugeot 205 only had one vote, and there were two votes each for the Ford Escort and the Fiat. Now, I did do a coin toss off screen uh, just to declare the winner, and the winner that we're going to be using for the European trophy is the Fiat 131. Yes, so uh, all those who wanted me to use a Ford Escort, mm, sorry, but bad luck. Uh, there will be another vote though at the end of this video, so you can choose again what bonus car you would like me to use for the world trophy. But anyway, We'll get on then with, again, the V-Rally Trophy. Now, uh, this is very similar to the Championship mode on the original V-Rally. Uh, there's no checkpoint timer that you have to worry about. It's literally first car across the line wins, and that is all you got to worry about. Um, so, yeah, the videos as well are going to be slightly longer. The European Trophy has eight rallies. The World Trophy has 12, and the Expert Trophy has 16. So, yeah, we have a lot of work to do. But first off, though, is the European Trophy. We've got Corsica. Finland, Spain, England, Italy, Portugal, Monte Carlo, and Sweden to end it all off with. Nice one. So, uh, yeah, these are the cars we're going to be racing against then. It's two of the Gordinis, one of the Alpines, and, of course, myself in the good old Fiat 131. Uh, so, we're going to be doing the usual, put the gearing up to maximum, like so. Thank you very much. And we'll get on then with stage number one, good old Corsica special stage 07. So, yeah, this championship is going to be fairly simple, like it was with the level one arcade mode. So don't have to worry too much. And away we go. As the Alpine goes up on the outside. But we'll just take the position back. Oh. Car gets a little bit squirrely. Now, thankfully, the uh, Fiat isn't as top-heavy as the Gordini. Uh, that car is incredibly top-heavy in the fact that you are pretty much spending most of the time rolling in corners. But as you can see, we're, well, three seconds already in the lead. Only two laps as well on these stages. Let's have a look at our machine. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Looks fairly decent. I do like delivery on this one. Similar livery to what they used on the Lancia Stratos back in the day. And now we've pulled out a six-second lead over the Gordinis, which are now uh, second and third. The Alpine has dropped right back down to last place. As you can see, though, these stages are slightly longer. But that's why they only give us two laps instead of the three laps that we had for the arcade mode. And that is lap one complete. Again, I'm unaware if these stages have shortcuts. They probably do. But you spend so much time looking ahead, you don't actually notice any shortcuts if they do turn up. So yeah, once the European trophy is over, we'll unlock another bonus car if we do win. Uh, which we should do quite easily again, because the European trophy is very simple. But uh, all cars in the bonus category will be available to choose from, so um, just because we're using the Fiat for this championship, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be using it again for the World Trophy. That is all determined by how many votes we get on the cars. So uh, once again, 
cast your votes at the end on what car you want me to choose and we'll have an extra one as well if again we do win this championship which we should do and we've now pulled out a 17 second lead over the Gordinis and a further 8 seconds back is the second of the Gordinis or Gord 1 and then the Alpine is only 0.2 of a second behind in 4th place so you do get a little bit of a spoiler you do see some of the other cars that you could win and there we go, stage one is complete, very easy, and we win by a colossal landslide. So uh, I'll get on in and have a look at the replay then, and I will see you for the start of stage two. And there we go then, so these are the stage times then after the first rally. Uh, as you can see, again, very similar to the championship mode on V-Rally 1. It's all down to the timing as well, the average or the fastest time that you complete the rallies and then you win. So it doesn't matter if you win every stage, as long as you get the fastest overall time at the end, then you're declared the winner. So uh, we got a 3.32 and a 3.54, then 4.04 and 4.04. So the uh, Gordini and the Alpine, or Alpine, are tied for third and fourth at the moment but we're going to go to finland for stage two uh just make sure that the gear ratios are no nope, keeps defaulting back to uh normal so uh yeah stage number two finland is always flat out on any rally game you always go to finland and you know for a fact it's going to have a lot of jumps a lot of bumps and it's going to be pretty Three, flat two, out two, and a lot of trees go. and away we go Come on. Oh, and we've rolled the car. Oh, well. Only a small roll. It's nothing to worry about. But as you can see, that the grip levels aren't that great. The car does like to slide a hell of a lot. Oh, and the Gordini's gone wide. So that has just gifted me the lead. Thank you very much. Is the end of lap number one. One to go. And there's me saying, oh yeah, Finland stages are usually very, very fast. And then we have a lot of uh, <laughs> very tight left right handers and a couple of hairpins thrown in for good measure as well. But so far so good. And again, we have a seven second advantage over Gord 2. And the Alpine again lagging at the very back. But having no checkpoint timer it does sort of take away some of that extra tension that you did have in the arcade mode. So it's more of a relaxed rally, if you would say. And there we go, stage two and another victory.
We did indeed. Right, I'll do the usual then, and I will see you for the start of stage three. So the time after two stages then, 6.42 to 7.13, the Alpine has got above the second of the Gordinis in third place. As we're going to be heading to Spain for stage three, I'm not going to worry about the gear ratios this time. I'm just going to jump straight into the stage. Because again, I think the, the longer gears is making it a little bit too simple. I'm pulling away way too quickly. So, just keep everything as default and we should be fine. And go! And already there's a bit of argy-bargy at the start. At least with the tarmac stages, you get a lot more grip, so the rear end shouldn't be sliding as much. And the Alpine has moved up into second place, so we're leading the Alpine by two seconds. Tiny is a little bit claustrophobic going through there. Oh. Invisible wall. There's the Alpine directly behind. Is one lap complete in a time of 130.29. Oh, and into the scenery we go. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, we do. Well, that was fun. Don't have to worry about the Alpine, no, because he is way too far down in the uh, standings at the moment. More two wheels. Nice. And went off in the exact same place we did last time. And that is stage three complete. There we go. Another easy stage victory. So, uh, yeah, I'll do the usual, and I'll see you for the start of stage four in just a moment. So, we're still leading the way by a very comfortable margin, then, after three stages with a total time of 9 minutes 43 seconds to the 10 minutes 23 of Gord 2, and then 10.31 for the Alpine, and then at 10.41 for the Gord 1. So, it's still very close in the top uh, four, or the uh, second on down to fourth. And now we have just a single stage for stage number four. So it's going to be quite interesting. I do like how they mix up, you know, just a single stage with the lapped stages. A bit like what they did with the first V-Rally as well. And off we go. Alpine gets a good jump. We'll just give him a little push. And take the lead. Again, the car sliding a little bit. And 
we are now halfway through the stage. And it is very close at the moment between the top three or the top four. That sharpened up a lot quicker than I thought. We're not pulling away that quickly either. The Alpine is literally, well, I was going to say literally behind, but no, he's just overtaken. Get out of it. And we're going to lose the stage. Bloody hell. Oh, well. Not by much. So that's not going to put a dent into the uh, the overall times. So, um, yeah, I will see you in just a moment for the results. So the overall times are unchanged at the moment. I'm still leading away with a total time of 11.20. And then you've got 12.02 for the Gord 2. The Alpine, once again, in third place with 12.07. And then 12.23 is Gord 1. Right, Italy then for special stage 5. Or special stage zero one, technically, but it is stage five. Three, two, one. So again, a single stage, and we are underway. Now, the Alpine is not going to win this one, I guarantee it. If we can catch up to him, that is. He seems to be very, very good on these tarmac stages. Oh, he made a mistake. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Push him into the wall. There we go. Now avoid the curbs and you'll be fine. And there we go. A very short stage. So, yeah, there we go then. So we win. The Alpine dropped to last in the end because I did push him into the wall. So, uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look at the total times after stage five. And there we go then. So still leading away by a massive margin, 12.21 to 13.07. The Alpine still in third place with 13.14 and then the Gord won with 13.28. Now looking back on the replay, I did roll the Alpine uh, while diving on the inside. He did roll into the undergrowth, but absolutely fine. No worries. So uh, Portugal then is coming up another single stage, uh, special stage 07 and stage 6 of the European Trophy. So... This one shouldn't be too bad either. I do like the fact that they do mix up the single stages with the lap stages. It's pretty damn good. And it's night time. Let's see if we can actually win the stage without making contact with the wall. Which would be quite nice. saying that and I couldn't actually see the turning point for the uh, corner I wouldn't say that was contact, that was just glancing off the wall. So we're still fine. I think our car is relatively undamaged. No, we made contact there. Oh well. Oh, that wasn't a fast left, that was more of a medium. Oh well, a very easy stage win. We win by six seconds. And there we go. 
Right, I'll do the usual and I will see you for the total times in just a moment. Nice one. So two stages to go then, Monte Carlo and Sweden, and we're still leading the way by uh, a massive margin. The Alpine still in third overall with uh, 1456. He is catching up to Gore 2 though, so anything can happen from second on down. But uh, yes, another singular stage then, Monte Carlo. And it's probably going to be snowing, which is a guarantee for Monte Carlo. Or at least it'll have a bit of wet snow on the stage. And no, it is snowing, so there you go. And away we go. Oh, and we're getting pushed out of the way by the Alpine and the Gordini. Not much in the way of grip. But we'll just dive it on the inside. Keeping me honest this time, the Alpine at least. Ooh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Nice little power slide. And they've dropped back a bit, so again, another stage victory. So that'll be six stage wins out of seven. And there we go. Easy peasy. We did indeed, and the Alpine almost went straight head on into me, but... No worries. Right, so yeah, I'll do the usual and I'll see you in just a moment before we start the final stage in the European Trophy. So at this stage, we literally can't be caught. We are leading by almost a minute over the Gordini and the Alpine is still catching over second place. So anything can happen within the uh, second on Dang. Uh, as we go to Sweden then, and it is another lapped stage, this one, 2.1 miles and it is snowy. So yay. But yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. We're going to win this one very easily. I always say that and jinx myself, so we're probably going to end up wrapped around a tree and Three, lose a lead. Two, one, and away we go. And the Alpine gets a great start. But then slows right down, so oh well. That was very anticlimactic. I thought it was going to be a nice battle between myself and the, uh, the Alpine, but nope. Not saying that though, he is still there. Ooh, side by side. And still side by side, well, not anymore. This car has no grip. I think the Alpine's got the same problems as well. Oh, excuse me, what are you doing? This reminds me very much of ice racing. And there we go. So we're just coming up to the end of the first lap. Quite a long lap this one as well. Well, actually not really, it's about the same as the rest. Just under 1 minute 40. And there we go, pulled out a four second lead already. So we have literally Verstappened this stage as well. 
toy with the competitors for a few minutes, get bored, and then decide to just pull away and never look back. Eighty-one percent through the stage. Now increase the lead to five seconds. So the Alpine might actually take second in the standings at this race, six seconds ahead of the other Gordini, so. And there we go. So, uh, yeah, with that, I will see you for the final standings then after the last stage. So 18.31 then was our total time to 19.39 from the Alpine, who does manage to get into second place over the Gordinis, uh, which were third and fourth overall. Not too bad. That was pretty damn good going. So what bonus car are we going to get this time then? We shall have to wait and see. And we are given the Lancia Stratos. Ooh, nice. You have now access to the World Trophy. As a reward for your performance, you can now select this new car, from the bonus car category. Thank you very much indeed. So that means then we have another car to add to the fray in the bonus car category. So we now have four cars to choose from uh, for the World Trophy, uh, which is coming up next time. So again, you got the Ford Escort V Rally. Let's just go to the uh, car select screen. Uh, so yes, you have the Ford Escort V Rally, the Lancia Stratos, the Peugeot 205, and the Fiat 131. So pick whichever car you want me to use for the Royal Trophy. And we shall do that next time. But I'll leave it here for now. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.